What's up guys? Welcome back Generation Zero and honestly I don't remember what we did last episode. Um I know we I think we finished that. I think I got the weapon. But I can't remember. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come up here. We're gonna take this bridge if we can. And we're gonna see if we can uh find ourselves a big guy. And possibly start doing some of these uh, side missions up here. So, hopefully these guys aren't all going to congregate together like they did uh, in a couple of... Actually, no, I think that was a... Uh, I don't think I did that on screen. But yeah, so uh, there was a couple of those rivals and they all congregated together. And I apparently was too close, didn't realize it. And yeah, I got mutilated. So yeah, that's that's how my day went on that. And, yeah, I'm not a big fan. Alright, so we're going to want to take this bridge. Or th this road, I mean. Okay. So, I had something kind of interesting pop up on my uh, comment section. Or on a comment I posted on YouTube. It was kind of one of those moments I'm like... Why did you even bother posting or like a reply to this? So basically what it was is uh, I was watching a clip from the first Avengers movie. The one with the old man and... Uh, he stands up to Loki and tells him, uh, you know, I will not bow to men like you. And Loki's like... There's no men like me, and he's like, the old man's like, there's always men like you. Anyway, that scene. You know, I posted on a, a comment. Oh, hey. That? Oh, I thought it was a, okay. Am I? You know, I thought the comment was kind of, uh, you know, I thought it was a good comment. It was, you know, it's, that scene always, basically what I said was the scene was one of my favorites in the movie. Because it just rem uh, reminds me that there's always... Oh, there's a big guy. There's always people willing to stand up against bad or evil, you know? I mean, in World War II, it was the Allies. In, in, um, in World War I, again, it was the British, the Americans, the French, you know, standing up against the Germans. Well, that, that particular war had a few... Honestly, that war in and of itself is a little bit more... There's a lot more um, nuance to it than just good versus evil. Um, I, honestly, you could do a whole paper on just how that particular war... It's just that one guy. I'm going to see if I can possibly blow this up. This completely backfired. Crouch! Why am I not crouching? That completely backfired. Yeah, 
Hit firing with the pistol. Okay, let's uh, use one of these. And then... FMJ is really not good. Okay, he's good. He's dead. All right, anyway, so, you know, this guy comments, and, you know, normally, you know, here's the thing. I like a good discussion. You know, I always love a good discussion. Because if you can't discuss things, then, you know, you're kind of screwed as a, as a country, you know, because that's what the whole United States was built on, was discussion and, and, uh, and debate that people have the uh, feel like they can uh... oh that's one of the big guys that people can feel like they can actually like discuss their opinions and not be attacked for them obviously in today's society it's uh... that doesn't happen a lot but oh dude there was a freaking gas cylinder but you know that's that's ideally what as American, you know, you should be able to do. Now, this comment I received, and I'll, I'll read the comment to you. Let me just pull it up right quick. This guy said, you guys have not been in war. I would lo have loved to see what you would have done in Germany when the Nazi movement rose up. Reality is different from Hollywood bravado. Okay. If you guys are new to this, I am a second class petty officer in the U.S. Navy. Okay. I signed up to be the first one, or one of the first ones, to say, yep, okay, we're going to war, I'm here. Doesn't mean I want to go to war, mind you. I, I really don't. I don't ever want to have to, like, be in that position if I can help it. But that's what I signed up to do. If it ever came to that point. And, you know, I had a hard time not responding to this guy. Because when people like that make a comment like that, it really, really irks me beyond measure. Because it's like, you don't know what a person does for a living you don't know anything about that person and it's like you know what he's he is right in a, a respect i don't know what the hell i would do in an actual war but i can tell you what i wouldn't be doing i wouldn't be watching it on tv i'd be actually participating in it it's not something i want to do and i hope to god and that i never have to but the the ignorance or in this case I'm not really sure if it's actually ignorance or if it's just uh, someone being a douchebag you know to get on a comment thread and and say something like that over a comment that for one was over a, like a year old like I, I did that like a year ago 
And for two, it had nothing to do with going to war. It had everything to do with um, somebody not bowing down to a person who meant them harm. And that's what it really meant. You know, that's that's that was the whole point of the comment. So, you know, why does this bother me so much? Honestly, I don't know. It just... Having somebody, I guess, who... Saying, oh, you, you, you wouldn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. And then being a person who's part of the military. I guess it really... It, it really irritates me. Because... If you look at the population of the United States, only about 1% of the population has joined or has ever joined the, the U, U.S. Armed Forces. So, taking that into account, there are more Americans who would never fight in a war. In fact, if you look at some of the past wars that we fought in, you would see that there's a lot of uh, a lot of people who actively try to get out of war. You know? And sometimes it was for good reasons. Other times I would say probably not. Like, you know, but the point is don't, uh, I, you, you shouldn't oh, that's uh, you need a gas mask for that. My point is that don't sit there and Say things like that when you don't know the person that you're talking to. I think that was the gun. Okay, that was fast. If you don't know the person you're talking to and you make a comment like that, and then you're really... You're just showing that you're, you're, you're allowing your ignorance to, to guide you. And that's never good. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, I do like the sticky flares. Sticky flares are good. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got a mission down here over and out. We've got a side mission. We got three of the big dudes, like the rivals. And then we got a side mission all the way up here to the northwest and one to the northeast. So right now we kind of can go in any direction. I kind of want to try to take out these guys. And then maybe go for that. Oh, here's the church. Right, this um, here's the weapon. Oh, this is actually oh, this is actually by the harvester thing, I think, or one of the tanks, whatever they're called. Hear like uh, some kind of crackling sound, kind of like static. Okay, let's see here. There was a. Oh, so that. Okay, so the. That weapon we picked up wasn't the weapon that.
I'm gonna get rid of that. Remove. Yeah. I guess so. Okay, so we got the weapon. Ooh, a green pump action. That's not bad. So, yeah, anyway, that was just kind of my little rant. It took, like, a lot of, uh... <laughs> I really wanted to respond to the guy. You know, I'm not saying that I would, like, I'm... You know, oh, gung-ho for war. Like, oh, yeah, I can do it. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not... I'm not Rambo. I'm not a... I'm really not even that, I guess, brave, really. I'm not. I'm just not that kind of person. You know, but I do want to, like, protect my country, protect my family, that kind of stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's a rival. Big guy's a rival. That's not good. Okay. Well. We're safe for now. They're not gonna. Wait, when did I. Alright, first off, where's our recycle bench? Right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm not a hero. I don't plan on ever being a hero. That's, you know, bad for a person's health. You know, jokes aside, I I wanted to do something that would, um, you know, protect my family. I'm not... And I wanted to do something that I could... I myself could be proud of, you know? And that's what it really came down to, and the reason why I joined. It's like, I wanted to be, be able to do something that I could be proud of. And I think serving in the military was that uh, answer. You know, I'm very proud of my service. It's like, and it's not because I'm like, oh, well, I, I did this and nobody else did. It's more because, you know, I was willing to sacrifice, you know. I had a lot of people telling me I shouldn't do that. To be in the military that I wasn't cut out for it and it allowed uh, by me joining and getting through boot camp and now being a second class petty officer it proved those people wrong and I wanted basically what I wanted was uh, something that I wanted to prove people that I could do something that everyone told me I couldn't do and that's basically all there is to it. I've got an idea. I don't know how well this is going to work, but... If that shotgun was blue, I would definitely take it with me. I definitely need a... Well, 
Hold on. I don't have... I don't have a lot in the terms of... Explosives, so I'm going to take the other grenade launcher as well. There he is over there. All right, I'm going to see if I can possibly I wonder if I can... Okay, I think I'm ready. The only thing I need to do is... I need to get a boombox. I'm going to put a boombox down in there. And then jump into the church.
Okay, so it didn't bring in the big guy, but it did kill maybe three or four of the of the hunters. Oh, there's a harvester over there too. All right, I gotta get downstairs. Okay, you can't hit, uh, this church is made of bulletproof glass. That's good to know. See if I can just hit him with a nade. I way overshot that. That's just gonna be a green something. Oh, just a magazine. Already have the one. Already have one exactly like that. Oh, there's four of them. Oh, crap.
All right. Well. All right, I'm not really doing a real good on the whole ammo situation. All right, guys, so we're sitting at the 32 minute mark going to end it here next episode we're going to take on these three guys and i think we'll head up to this mission here didn't do a whole lot mission wise in this episode but i mean at least we uh at least we got some pretty cool fights out so i wish my um crap over there worked a little bit better but oh well anyway guys that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time